Every great journey starts, of course, with a single step. A century ago, such a step was taken by a handful of countries which met in Monaco seeking ways to cooperate on solving crimes. The birth of Interpol was the result. Fifty years later, a city-state set out to become one of the safest and most prosperous countries in the world under the leadership of the late Li Kuan Ju. The monument of Mr. Li's success can easily be seen as you make your way through this thriving city. Today we mark the intersection of these two journeys, the inauguration of the Interpol Global Complex for Innovation. By opening its arms to Interpol and providing us with this magnificent home, Singapore has once again proven its dedication to international police cooperation and the promotion of the rule of law. And by establishing this global complex for innovation, Interpol will ensure that it is best place to help police around the world address emerging threats through innovation and training. The global complex was born out of the organization's commitment to adapt to the changes to in the threat landscape. It was conceived and endorsed in 2010, the final year of my mandate as Executive Committee Vice President for Europe, making it all the more symbolic that its opening is at my return. Since taking office, I've actively encouraged our member countries to share their needs with us so that Interpol can continue to evolve to meet these challenges. Cybercrime, of course, is one of these challenges, which has been prioritized across the world as people, their homes and national critical infrastructures become smarter, or in other words, networked. To address this un underappreciated threat, police must become smarter too. As technology development speeds ahead, so do criminals, quite frankly leaving the world's governments and their police forces behind. Sometimes they are more than one step ahead of us. We must embrace developments such as the Internet of Things and its implications in Industry 4.0 and the advantages they bring while simultaneously driving dialogue about their security and their safe use. We must discuss the place of anonymity on the Internet and the need of police to identify and trace cyber criminals while nonetheless safeguarding the privacy of other users. In the coming years, there will be a difficult conversations to be had, but if we do not break down the walls of silence, if the world does not work together, we could soon see cyber criminals using our homes against us and even our bodies. A step to tackle this challenge was taken during the high-level session on cybercrime earlier this morning when we gathered to discuss global law enforcement efforts to tackle cybercrime. And how the Interpol Global Complex for Innovation has, is and will continue to provide a neutral international platform to address this threat. I'm already proud of what Interpol has been able to achieve in this field even before officially opening the complex. In August, Interpol trained and assisted member of the Melian Gendarmerie with the examination of mobile phones seized during a counter-terrorism operation. This essential capacity building effort led to the extraction of some 2,000 contacts, of which 400 were foreign and shared with national central bureaus in 14 countries. Information sharing remains a vital element of daily police work. However, information is increasingly locked within devices or encrypted by technologies, making such capacity building efforts essential. Research-led innovation is essential to prepare officers for future threat. Our researchers, in cooperation with a strategic private partner, identified a vulnerability in very DNA of virtual currencies 
which could be exploited by criminals to hide malware and other illicit content. Having identified this threat, experts from around the world can work together to find a solution and provide officers with a means to neutralize this particular threat. Such research has only proven once again the importance of experts from all sectors combining their expertise to prepare for emerging threats. The work of the Interpol Global Complex for Innovation will provide operational and forensic support, will build capacity and identify threats from both cyberspace and the physical world. Today I can announce that vital intelligence from a prominent IT actor has led to an IGCI coordinated operation that has led to the dismantling of the so-called SIMDA botnet. This botnet has been active for years and required a unified and international effort from both law enforcement and the private sector to take it down. These achievements highlight the value of IGCI and its role as an innovation hub, a think and do tank, if you will, bringing together different experts from law enforcement, the academia and the public and private sector to help police adopt new technologies and practices, becoming smarter, catching up and ultimately overtaking criminals. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have invited you here today to bear witness to the next step in Interpol's journey with the Global Complex for Innovation acting as incubator to make policing fit for the future. While we have come a long way together, the journey at IGCI is only as its beginning. Yet I have no doubt it will be a successful one and one which bring us even closer to a safer world. Thank you very much.